If you are one of those people who are learning all this video, it's for you. The final result will surprise you. First, sorry for my English, I will try to explain as best as possible. Today is the part to create the functionality to create an order and push an order quickly like us. Let's begin. First, we need to import use res and on the start hook from the old package. Now we have to define the product model. We will use this model in the search to load the product. Now using use service hook we have to define all RMM service. Now it's time to define our wheel start hook. In this case, we will use to load the products to the component. This hook is called, called when the widget is rendered. Now you see define the product and the function get all products and let's go to load products from the database. In this case, using ORM and service, we have to search and read products and get a fields name, this price, a standard price. To load the products to the state using a user state a hook. Now let's check everything is okay. Everything okay. Products loaded. Now we have to define use uh, the input. We have to create the input field that we will use to search. We must to define the tref uh, attribute in the input fields. Which, uh, which must be the same, which must be the same uh, one we use in the use ref in JS file. Once we create the relationship, we have to define the function. We are we cry we will call it from the template. Now, tref have search product and go to the JavaScript file and using use ref. We define use ref with the same value in the XN template. Here we are declaring the uh, the value value in the input to use in the search function. Now search products in the function we will use to search uh, a value now this punto search input current value is the text typed in the search input and we pass uh, this value to the search and the products will like name in like the text input value introduced. Using the event t on kop, we call search product defined in the JS file. Uh, let's go to check. Yes, it's working. Ultra. Now it's time to define the car company. In the folder car, we define three files. You see, we have to, to import and create and import a child company in the main company. And we have to define the communication between the components using props. We'll see later. 
car component are uh, importing and uses in the, the components to find definition in the template we define the components to show the product in the car check everything's okay yes and let's go the main is to import to create the card list in the state of the main component to add reactivity to the, the list products shopping cart is the list of products uh, we will show the, the products in the car create component in the main component to show product in the car shopping product car and later on this is a set it's now import easy product shopping car is the child component to use to create the, the products in the in the company in the main company to show products when the products are clicked in the component products I'll, a little crazy but we will we'll implement this communication between component in for each easy product called shopping cart received a product in the props to see about the props in bootstrap we copy organized lies uh, let's go see if this is okay shopping cart these items are not showed because we have not element in the shopping cart list created in the use state of my component easy product define the receive a product in the props let's go to define the props in the easy products static props received a product in the product we have a name price list and standard price These attributes are defined in the shape attribute of the product props. Sorry. The shape has an ID, it's a number, a name, it's a string, and this price is a number. This is the properties of the products to show and use in the product. Let's go to clear a little code, remove common code and verify everything is okay in the easy products. You see all the products are the products in the right in the in the main screen. We have to define add to car in the child component. When art car is used, we we paste we need to to send the ID of the product to the parent company to add this this product to the shopping cart component let's go add to cart and using add to cart into bind is the definition because the bind is the communication in between the parent component and the child component base component is this we have to define add to cart 
the receives and the product ID send it from the from the child component. In this case, when you when the product is clicked, we need to add the product to the shopping cart. In this case, we only added the, the product ID. There we we add uh, the rest on the properties in the product. Only the product ID. And this is the parent component. And in the child component, we have to pass the product click it to the parent component to use this uh, this product in the card list using a to card. Now it's time to define add to car in the product component. The product component is used to buy. Sorry to repeat, but it's very important to understand the procedures the, and the communication between the components. In the component, now it's time to the to the to, to to add the function add to cart. To receive the product ID, click it. And using props, this put a props put a add to cart to pass the ID to the parent company. Sorry to repeat, but it's very important. It's not important in this moment the setup. Now, in the template, we need to show the product added, the product uh, features added in the in the shy component. This is the product component. I received a product, a button to add to cart to use the function add to cart defined in the product component. Let's go to search and an input an icon shopping cart to add. Using the event T on click, we use add to cart define it in the product component. Let's go to check and when they click it, all is rendered the content in the car component definite. Now the functionality is when the when the product is clicked in the car component, we need to add this product to the car using and adding the the, the attribute, the sale name, uh, price, standard price, and we need to use to get uh, the product in the product list and we have to uh, to search to search this product in the car list. If the product not exist, we need to add the product to the shopping car with quantity uh, in one because the product don't exist. And when the product that exists, we need to uh, to increment the quantity of these products. This is the object to, to render the content in the template. We are creating the object with the, with the, with the attribute getting from the product loaded in the on-wheel start service. 
is the standard price and the quantity equal one because the product don't exist in the car now if the product exists we need to update the quantity let's go to check it's working add to car add to car yeah sorry we need to the x and template now we we define the use the props we and we need to add the attributes to the, the to the list product name and uh, quantity and uh, all the and the quantity is added and in this way we have the car list to the products now we need to add the price with total just like the invoice in uh, in order with price with total is the multiplication to the price to the quantity if the quantity is one is this by one or in this case we need to take the price to total to show in the end of component of the xlm in the template let's go to check Price to total, we have to the I prototype. We have we need to add the price to total to the egg to the template. Um, to show, yeah, price to total, yeah, and let's go to check it's working. yeah it's working thank you everybody for thank you thank you sorry again by my english next will be better thank you